Hi, I'm Jordy Dines. Maybe you've heard of the Jordy Dines show. <laughs> you started that, didn't you? Uh, no, I had no, nothing no, to do no, with that right. show. Uh, never saw an episode. <laughs> there were apparently episodes of the show. I'm in a band called uh, By Divine Right that's playing tonight. Got to figure out a band. What's joining? It. It's like we're, I've been in there for three years now, and it's like now I'm just really starting to feel like super ultra comfortable where I can have a show and I'm just having fun, you know, instead of like thinking about it the whole time. It took you a while to get through that first. Heck yeah. 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 Totally. A lot. Of, I was nervous too, which didn't really. You're happen. playing for a band that you liked. I've heard that can be difficult. Heck yeah. I have like vivid memories of you know, jumping up and down in the crowd for that band. I, I don't like to, com I can't compare it to the new stuff because I'm on it and it's like, I feel weird. I've had a couple of the guys from the old band, like the old members of the band come up and be like, it's the best record yet. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Look how this I'm gonna cry, you know. So that's, that's, I don't know. That mean that's that means a lot because I don't. Know. Those were the records I loved so much that even they would say that about this one kind of freaks me out a little bit. Ah, uh, awesome. Um, any of the new songs are the funnest, but I also love playing. <laughs> All of them are my favorite. Wow, so hundred percent. Yeah, wow. no, because it's just like I'm. There's not one I'm having so much. I'm having so much fun. Like you'll 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 see it on stage. We're, we're kind of pretty much laughing the entire time, especially me and Lish, because mm -hmm. Lish is also a super nerd too, like BDR nerd. Yeah. There's a couple, especially a couple spots where we always link up. We're just like, holy shit, this is really fucking fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, here's a good one. You just got back from tour. Yeah. So, what do you want to say about tour? Uh, best tour, show? tour was the best. It was the best tour I've ever been on. It was uh, the most organized. Even when it wasn't organized, but it was like we were up early and we're like, let's make sure we can see some shit while we're on the road instead of just being stressed out the whole time and freaking out about shows. So we had a couple of days in between shows in certain places. I saw a bunch of friends, let's just say that, which was amazing. Um, I got to go to, we found a hot spring in the middle of the wilderness in BC off a logging route and then hiking for 15 minutes. It's natural hot spring coming out of the lot, like rocks and shit, and it was hot, and it was awesome, and it was the greatest fucking thing of all time. <laughs> there was an old man there, I thought he was gonna get naked, but uh, I was afraid, I was like, he was, he's like, I've been here for 12 days, ca camping, right? Wait, and, and he's like, I, and then he was like, telling us about the hot spring, he's like, I keep this place clean, and he's like, thanks old man. Uh, and then, uh, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> He's like, I retired in 1965. That's what he said. And we're like, wow. Ah, uh, yeah, that's. We're like, you were 500 years old. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you were so old. Anyways, we, so that was the best. We also lost a van that happened on the road. Oh, Sad. No uh, a friend lent us a truck. We were going to cancel shows, but he lent us a truck. Um, George. Woo! Uh, and Nest Creek Festival. Amazing. Um, that was the best show ever also but we also played two shows in Edmonton which were killer any every show it was like even if it was a weird show and it was dead we were like let's fucking give her and it was amazing sold a lot of merch which was awesome like us doing it you know what I mean just like going and selling to people and be like it. windshield wipers are dying we should go check that out and the guy's like okay uh, windshield wipers aside, your brakes are fucked. <laughs> it's like, if you want to leave here, you're going to have to sign a waiver with this car. Because you know, you're going to die. <laughs> basically, right? So we're like, oh, okay. So you have no control on the road. It's basically, you can, all you can do is be prepared. more As prepared as you possibly can be. Pack light, maybe. 
find friends along the way. Spaghetti arms, yeah. I uh, can't characterize my my drumming. Um, my drumming's just kind of like a. I'm lanky. I'm six foot five. I'm pretty skinny. Uh, I like to sit really low on my stool for a throne. If, if you're a drummer, <laughs> which I don't like to call it a throne. It sounds, <laughs> sounds kind of like a toilet. Yeah, it's like. Um, and you know, I've got. The, I like to have everything really close, so I don't have to move my arms too much. But so it's like mostly just my my wrists moving. Uh, Cause I'm really lazy. I, was I found that like you fast the, or slow, there's the drum. There's drummers who like are reaching up here. I really love. I love how that looks and stuff. But I, I can't do it because it's just like after a couple of tunes, I'm just dying. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> this part's not a joke. Uh, no, I'm. I'm really tired. <laughs> can can um, you describe it anyway? Like, do you find you're fast or slow or? I I don't know. I, I'm I'm fast drummer. Especially with the old band, the Mark and Side, I used to drum really fast, as fast and hard as possible. And now with this band, I've slowed it down. I was in a country band uh, called Drunk Woman for a while, and we're just on like temporary hiatus for now. And uh, that's a slower band, obviously, it's country music, but there's some faster tunes, so I think I'm mostly a fast drummer. No, but I'm pretty sloppy, never noticed. I have a drum kit that I've had for, uh, for almost 10 years, and it's a jazz kit really old vintage and uh, as soon as I got that my whole style of drumming changed actually really yeah 100% it was pretty neat um, I don't know it's like the spirit of the old jazz man <laughs> <Awakened. laughs> it's like this old drum kit was changing me or something it was, it was awesome <laughs> Can you talk about how I got a list of bands here? Sloan, Radiohead, Mark Inside yeah. have affected yourself as a I love those three bands. Musician or person. Uh, Sloan Sloan's a big band because the night that I went by Divine Right opened for Sloan. And that was my first show ever. So uh, Sloan's pretty huge for me just because like I was like the first record I also bought on my own. And uh, Radiohead was a big one because uh, I would say that was the one band in the Mark Inside that all four of us. That's what I was gonna say. All you guys. All four of us them. really liked them. There were other bands that were like two of us liked them, or like just one of us liked them. But Radiohead was that one band where we were all just like, yeah, those guys are fucking wicked. So we always went. We went to a bunch of their shows together. I think I saw them twice. I've seen them twice. Yeah. And uh, well, the Mark Inside's just huge for me because without the Mark Inside, I wouldn't. I would be still playing, probably, at all. Black Sabbath, pretty well, and, you know, Zeppelin, but that's, that's, that's as heavy as get. I go, really, yeah. All right. And then Iron Giant from New Brunswick, and uh, anything Ian Burton from Toronto does. Osho kind of turned me into uh, a thick skin for dealing with crazy people. And then uh, Whippy got me into booze and trying out drugs <laughs> because it was so boring. <laughs> that bad, huh? No. It but bad. it never got worse than pot. That's all I do smoke a pot and drinking beer. Boom. That's the Whippy way. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Gotta rename the town. Boom. You should probably get back in, but yeah. Uh, uh, just yeah. quick question: What's your favorite record of all time? Desert Island, White Album, Beatles. Okay. Yeah, because it's easy to say that. I, I was like, it's probably a Beatles album, and I'm like, what's the one I probably listen to the most? And it's probably the White Album. <laughs>